Yeah. Termite damage. Mm -hmm. This is a liquid masking H2O in the uh, Graco Ultimate airless handheld with a Titan 310 purple tip. Dead battery, these things go quick. That was sprayed a little while ago. It's already starting to clear up. Now I'm gonna walk around and just check the edges. It's actually priming these spots. We're gonna go through with a, a peel stop X bond primer. That's what these guys are doing, just spot hitting all this raw wood. Here's the uh, battery charging for the Graco handheld, which takes forever. This is the first one I sprayed. So yeah, I just kind of want to always walk around check the edges for any sags with that 310 tip it actually gets it pretty good but yeah little spots here and there little sags so just come wipe them down you have to run around with a brush this stuff is water based so yeah like a little little one here and we're gonna sand these anyway but uh, the less you have to sand the better so yeah this all took me all of the 20 minutes to load the handheld and we just did the wood windows so yeah even the stickers I mean it's just gonna stick to that so we, it'll we'll see what happens but I don't think it'll peel the sticker off so and if anything we'll just scrape the sticker off and put new ones on but yeah no, see like these windows, the jealousy windows will mask by hand. But uh Yep. 20 30 minutes at the most. Now I just gotta run some water through that thing and these dry clear so I still have light in the house. Yeah, and this is the what these guys are priming with here. The Primex Peel Bond Primer. And uh, probably gonna go through and 
trying to get all these windows shot. This stuff takes about four hours to dry before you can put latex over it uh, overnight before you can put any type of solvent base over it. Uh, you cannot stain um, over it. But yeah, that's uh, liquid masking. Good stuff. Time saver. Now I'm going to mask the bottoms of these, pull the screens off. All right. This fence all the way up was that color this morning. We uh, two coated that, sprayed and back rolled. The other side was white on the neighbor side, and this side was blue. And we switched it to white like the neighbor side. Liquid masked all these windows this morning. Uh, sprayed them out, two coats in the back roll. Caulked them, spackled them, all that today. Uh, pulled the uh, liquid masking. Yeah, I did uh, this fence on this side was also green. So we did uh, both sides a bit. Got a couple little touch-ups here and there, but we're gonna go through and uh, do all the windows first. We did that today, two coated. We used the liquid masking, and uh, you can see where the previous painter's paint was on the window. When you use liquid masking, it kind of sticks to that a little bit. So it's better to go around with a five and one afterwards and clean the old painter's paint off. That way it doesn't look like you did it. But yeah, let's take you around the front here. Yeah, we spot primed everything. You can kind of see the sheening right here. We used uh <laughs> we used uh, the clear peel bond but yeah so if you uh, go ahead and spray the whole window over the liquid masking it comes off easier um, than if you don't put paint over the top of it so I'll run the edge with the blade uh, this isn't quite dry yet and pull it but yeah all these wood windows <coughs> are completely done they were green on the side um, so we sprayed the sides white wrapped them all the way around so yeah I mean, these ones were jealousy windows, so we plastic those, and uh, those are good to go. But what we'll do tomorrow is we'll come and mask these windows with the uh, the iQuip tape. I'm excited to try that, the green iQuip tape, and uh, start prepping all these walls, caulk, spackle, sand, and then. Uh, shoot the finish on the walls and then the last thing we'll do is mask the walls and shoot the soffits in white and the white same as the trim so but yeah that's the liquid masking and uh, once he's done shooting this last window we'll go through and pull all the masking and then she's got some airflow for tonight so yeah this is the first one Luke's done today spray a little paint on it roll it out kind of fill in any hairline cracks and then just load up a second coat on there uh, to get full coverage and uh, this one doesn't have edges but as you can see even like the bottoms were green so we actually did uh, the french wrap because french french people are fancy but yeah that's day two um, we're gonna pull the masking so all the windows will be done day two and the fence so tomorrow we start prepping all the body.